Hi guys. I'm here to talk about a dashboard that was um, shown in one of the presentations before. Uh, it's about microservices and it's a story of managerial fears and analysis paralysis. Really big title. So the story takes us back to um, our initial um, architecture that we tried out was monoliths. So I suppose lots of developers still write monoliths. And the problem with that is that you can't go fast. You can't go faster to market than you want to and your competition is really catching up. Because if you look at, for instance, um, Puppet Labs, their, um, their state of DevOps report, you can see that high-performing IT organizations which apply DevOps, they can deploy 200 times more frequently and have like a, a lot faster um, time from idea to, to implementation uh, and to production. They have a lot fewer failures and they recover a lot faster from those failures. So if you want to uh, compete with those organizations, you really have to have an architecture that allows you to go fast, and microservices is one of these architectures. Um, but microservices, of course, becomes it, it really gives you a lot of freedom as developers, uh, and, free, and freedom basically um, it, it makes them think they're like space cowboys. They can do anything they want. They can use any tool they want in their microservice, but that kind of gives you issues in your organization. So IT organizations, they basically begin to look a little bit like this. And I'm just warning you, there's going to be a couple more stock pictures. I really love them. Uh, and this is the first one. So your organization is really um, on, on the brink of getting into ruins. Um, so we have a couple of stakeholders in the organizations that really want to have a sense of what's going on here. The first one, managers, right? This looks like a manager, doesn't he? Like he has this this nice grim on his face, uh, so <laughs> this is a bit like a manager. And he really wants to get a sense of maturity. He wants to know what's compliant in the organization. He wants to be able to change the teams. Um, then we have analysts, and analysts, they want to see what's out there, what functionality is available, um, and what's coming up. They want to have a say in what's coming up, and they want to have a view end-to-end -end of what's currently um, going through the system. So aside from managers and analysts, we also have developers and operations. Um, who kind of want to see what's currently deployed, what dependencies are out there, when you want to deploy a new version, what's going to break, that kind of stuff. So having that visualized is really useful for making sure that everybody's happy in your organization with a microservice architecture. And we kind of built something like this because we didn't see anything out there currently that actually did this, that gave you a holistic view of your entire architecture. So you can see four columns of your four layers of architecture. Um, so the UI up until the backends. It's really simple to set up. You can just clone the repository and get it running. You don't even have to install Maven. Um, or you actually do it a little bit better and you use a, um, you, you make a little Java application and you apply some dependencies to it and you can override anything in there. You can also do configuration, that kind of stuff. So you really don't, ha don't really have to know Java. Um, and then we have the architecture, how it looks like. Really cool slide, um, but it basically it's just the front end and the back end. And in the back end, there's some aggregators that go look into your ecosystem and go figure out what's currently out there. And we have four of them here. Two of them are basically looking at JSON endpoints that you can expose uh, in your microservices, and they just give you information about the health and what endpoints they expose, but also hypermedia supported and consumer-driven contact testing. Um, so for the developers in the room, uh, this might be interesting to you guys. It's uh, it's built with Spring, sorry, with Spring, uh, and it's uh, and it's basically using reactive nature underneath uh, to have it really optimized for performance. Uh, that really doesn't matter that much, I think. But um, yeah, basically, what you can do in the dashboard, we have some more features like you can do filtering and it cascades, so you can really see, for instance, the Speedza app is going through your entire uh, um, architecture like this. Um, I think that's useful for seeing an end-to-end -end view. You can also see, as a manager, what's not compliant. So for instance, this agenda microservice, it basically doesn't expose an index resource, which is one of the compliance criteria for the organization. So you can just see that in the dashboard. And you can also add nodes that are not really there yet, so virtual nodes. So for instance, you're working as a microservice team, as a DevOps team on, um, on a microservice but it's not yet deployed. You can communicate that to the organization. I'm working on this CATS application, and uh, other teams will then see that they don't have to duplicate that. So it's also documented, uh, pretty verbose. And also, there's a Gitter channel. And in the Gitter channel, you can just talk to us, ask us about features that could be coming up, give us information about your specific um, uh, your specific ecosystem, and that's really what we're gonna want to get out of this. It's an open source project. Uh, it's freely available for everyone. It and it's basically we kind of want your input. 
what you guys are facing, what we can improve, and maybe some pull requests. And last of all, this is not just a one-man effort. This is a team effort. And it's just, we basically want to have this for everyone available because it's not yet out there. So basically try it out and let us know what you think of it. Thanks, guys. <laughs>